Hi, everybody, and welcome back to World Drum Club. I'm Kalani Das, your host here. I'm super pleased to be welcoming a colleague and actually dear friend of mine, I've known maybe 20 years, Judith Piazza, to the World Drum Club teacher family. This is her introductory lesson on frame drums. If you haven't experienced frame drumming, um, you're in for a treat. And J Judith is just a super talented um, teacher, musician, artist. She's also a music therapist. She does a lot uh, with counsel. She's just multi-talented. And so it's just a real pleasure to, to introduce you to her because she does so many things. Um, I'd like you to click some of the links below that are going to link to her website. Her main website is resonanceandrhythms.com. You can see what she does over there, and there, she's got audio and video over there as well. So please go visit her website. Right now, enjoy this frame drum lesson with Judith Piazza. Hi, my name is Judith Piazza. Welcome to World Drum Club. Today I'm going to share with you my love for this beautiful frame drum. And here's how it sounds. So I'm going to share with you a little bit about the frame drum in a very generalized way. A frame drum is any drum that is wider across the head than the depth of its shell. And we have many kinds of frame drums from all over the world, some with jingles, some without. And keep tuning in and you'll learn more about frame drums. But today I want to share with you a very foundational rhythm called balladi, or sometimes known as belladi. And this is a very popular rhythm in the Middle Eastern dance community. And it sounds like this. Here's the melody of belladi or balladi. Low, low, high, low, high, low, low, high, low, high, low, low. So let's learn how to make these very beautiful melodic sounds. We're going to start with the doom sound or the low sound, D-U-M or D-O-O-M, doom. And we play the doom with the whole side of the thumb in this playing position. So I have the, the drum on my knee, on my lap. This is a lap style position. The non-dominant hand is just resting on the top of the drum lightly. I have this rather close to my face just so I can get it all in the, the view frame here. So the whole side of the thumb comes in to play on the skin. The whole side of the thumb is actually making contact with the drum head. This fleshy part, the heel of the thumb, is actually right against the frame of the drum. So that gives you a rule of thumb. Haha. <laughs> and here we go. So what we're doing is throwing the thumb towards the head. Notice that my hand comes away and then comes back in because in frame drumming we need momentum in order to make good, beautiful, resonant sounds. So to play this melody of baladi, we're going to learn a pa sound. Sometimes baladi is not played with this pa, but I'm going to teach it with the pa because I love the sound of this high dry sound and you can really make it pop. So this is done with a slight curve to the palm of the hand. All of the pads of the fingers, including the thumb pad, are making contact with the skin of the drum. And it sticks there for just a second or so, but we, we come in to the drum. Again, we have this momentum being uh, made by coming away from the drum and then coming into the drum and we stick those pads there for just a second, including even the heel of the hand is actually making contact with the head here. So this is pa, 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 pa. So now back to baladi, the melody of baladi is doom, doom, pa, doom, pa, doom, doom, pa, doom. Pa, doom, doom, pa, doom, 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 pa.
we'll begin to fill in some of these spaces with the talk sounds or ta-ka. So we have ta-ka is made with the ring fingers, the pads of the ring fingers, both of them now because we're going to start using the non-dominant hand here on top. But the pad is actually playing right at the rim of the drum. So if you're playing on the edge, you're not going to get a good sound. You want to play on the head of the drum itself, close to the rim, but not on the side of the rim. So we have the dominant hand, tuck, 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 tuck. Notice how the forearm is rotating. There's no holding onto the drum with the hand or the thumb. In this position on the lap, we have free flowing hand moving towards the drum to make the tuck sound. On the non-dominant hand, we now bring the wrist slightly rolled to the outside so that we can also use this ring finger to get right on the rim of the drum. So we have the same sound up here. Your fingers will strengthen as uh, with consistency in making this sound and you'll be able to play beautiful non-dominant hand talks in no time at all. So we have ta ka 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 Now where do we put these? So we're going to go back to Baladi and we're going to start filling in the space with the taka. So if we have doom doom ta ka pa doom Pa, we'll just start there, filling in one space with the pa takas. Doom, doom, taka, pa, doom, pa, doom, doom, taka, pa, doom, pa. I'm going to fill in the second space now with taka. Doom, doom, taka, pa, doom, taka, pa, doom, doom, taka, pa, doom, taka, pa. Let's continue with this. For those of you who would like to stretch just a little bit more, we can fill in the last space now with the taka and you'll feel the sick circular motion then of this rhythm that is uh, such a beautiful rhythm foundational to all of Middle Eastern drum as well as dance. So then we would have doom doom taka pa doom taka pa taka doom this rhythm in any of those levels of playing and you'll be playing this beautiful melodic rhythm. I'm going to end uh, today with a little bit of improvising around this rhythm of Baladi. joining me and until next time. Thanks Judith. That was so clear and just lovingly delivered like everything you do. You guys please go visit Judith's website resonanceandrhythms.com. Find her on Facebook, social media. She's got CDs, some uh, educational products that she does and you can bring Judith into your community if you're looking for somebody who can hold and create a loving nurturing space for people and uh, facilitate musical experiences, um, Judith is a great choice. So look into her work, highly recommended, and we'll see you all in a future video.